this event is for one fall with a 10 minute time limit. In the red corner at 240 pounds from Duluth, Minnesota, Bill Irwin. In the blue corner at 244 pounds from Tampa, Florida, Paul Orndorff. And action gets underway, and you hear the hands of the fans here on Championship Wrestling pulling for Florida's Paul Orndorff. Jack Howe calls for the bell, Orndorff against rookie Bill Irving. We talked about Paul Orndorff and how he must have been downhearted as two weeks ago, stripped by the National Wrestling Alliance of his coveted North American heavyweight title and reverted back because of the films furnished by Ernie Ladd, who reclaimed that title. And here he is, a very gallant young man coming right back on the trail of the North American heavyweight title, a very determined Paul Orndorff in a right forearm as retreating Bill Irving. Leroy McGurk has gone from our table and taken his place, his associate and partner, Cowboy Bill Watts. Well, of course, you know, Leroy is uh, a master at disguising his feelings. He's a, he's a veteran, but he was really upset about the thing with Orndorff and Ladd, as was anybody with any sense of justice. Like Leroy said, how can a guy defend the title two months and then be stripped of it? And, of course, this is an experiment they're even having in the National Football League, and they got seven of them out there, and they still have an instant replay sometime overrule these decisions. And uh, Leroy and I are, are of the opinion that you take the good them with the bad, that it's a gamble. Uh, but it, what should ha what the final decision is that night should stand. And it's, it's not as confusing, and it's not something where a young kid like Paul Orndorff that's just captured everybody by storm goes around a defended the North American against some of the top guys there. Stan the Lariat Hansen, Ernie Ladd himself, uh, Bruiser Brody, uh, the assassin, the brute, and then all of a sudden has it taken away from him on a reverse ruling. So here you see a man that's really on the trail. I'll say the thing about Orndorff. He takes his lumps like a man, and he's determined to win it back. He's beat Ernie Ladd twice now for that title. Once when Ray Candy was badly injured, and we're going to see Ray Candy uh, via uh, VTR from Atlanta, Georgia, following this. And these are two men that are really hot on the trail of the North American champion, Ernie Ladd, as is the American Dream, Dusty Rhodes. Oh, tremendous agility there by Orndorff. Wow, that drop kick Boyd was right up the side of that Bill Irwin's face. And he's in that powerful full Nelson. And Orndorff is really after it. I don't think that Irwin, his arms are locked up too high. I don't think he'd be able to lever it down. And Jack Howe calls the decision and breaks the hole before he feels that Irwin would be badly injured. And the victory goes to Paul Orndorff. 